Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. In this one I'm going to be talking through two tie breaks that I've played recently in two separate tournaments and how I've been able to deal with the pressure, how I played the points and what I was thinking whilst I was playing. So this is the first tie break I played against Ying Hu in the UK Pro League event. This was the first set obviously tie break as you can see it was 6 all. This was my third or fourth match in the tournament. I hadn't won one yet so I really wanted to get on the scoreboard. And kind of my aim going into this tie break was to just stay consistent, play from the baseline and look for an opportunity to come into the net like this and then put away the volley. I think that was something I was really trying to do is kind of be aggressive from the baseline. I think I could, you know, looking back on it, be have been more aggressive with using my forehand going inside in, inside out, different stuff like that and then coming into the net. And again there, it's moments like this in a tie break where you have to really keep your concentration because every point counts. You know, there's a big difference between 4-2 and 3-all or 5-1 and 3-all. Uh, and three -all. So even points like that, making them play the extra ball, feeling like you're, you're, you know, you're in it and you're not uh, having a slip up because a momentum shift in the tie break could be the difference between winning and losing. And it's going to be such fine margins. I'm here up 2-1 on serve. I have a mini break. This is exactly how I would have wanted to start. A mini break basically means... You know that you're you're going to be able to to feel more comfortable and confident. Obviously, you know having that extra point on serve that you can you can lose essentially if it, if it, if like the worst comes to the worst. So here, yeah, I'm up at two one on the second serve. Go for quite a bit of security here. I knew his forehand was slightly weaker than his backhand on the return, and there, just trying to force the error, putting. Um, showing a bit of emotion with the fist pump, just making sure that I'm focusing and staying concentrated on every single point. Here at 3-1, if I know I can close out this point, I'm going to be up 4-2 at least at the change of end. So this is quite a crucial point. Just making sure I'm rallying with depth, trying to put the ball deep. He's keeping me quite far behind the baseline, so I have to make sure that I'm doing enough with the ball in there, him putting it again, putting it wide. So he's done that two or three times now. I'm thinking to myself, okay, maybe he's going to crumble under the pressure. I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing and hopefully he's then now going to make more mistakes. But as you will see, this isn't the case and he seems to now you know, not do what he's been doing and you know, wants to be a bit more aggressive. Here he comes down the line, comes into the net, a great approach shot. And now it's a difficult situation for me because do I carry on doing my original strategy? Or do I now need to kind of switch it up? And this is one of those things in tennis, you need to always be thinking about how your opponent's playing and what you need to be doing. Obviously my opponent here looking again to come into the net, putting me under pressure and this kind of moving uh, erratically and then trying to pass is now something that I'm under the pressure struggling with. And what I can rely on though is my serve. And so here putting in one good serve and there just called, called, called long. Second serve again to his forehand, dropping it short. Just trying to, try to find the angle, trying to maybe be aggressive and come in. Here again, me at the net and a solid drop shot. I'm up 6-3 now. Three set points. I got myself into this position by changing up the strategy. And that's why I think a lot of people can kind of learn from, from, from you know, watching tie breaks and watching other people play tie breaks is how do they change their strategy on, you know, one or two points that change. Okay, so here, me trying to be quite aggressive, trying to close it out, didn't quite work. Now it's about can I settle my nerves and can I do what I've been doing for the previous well, six of the ten points that I've won. And again, him, him being quite aggressive and I'm putting the volley away. I know now I've only got one point on surf to close it out. This is a relatively high stress moment now because he's put the pressure back on me. That serve was called long. So now all, all, all lies in the second serve. Go to his backhand this time just to change it up. Change up where I'm serving to just to keep him guessing. And here, him putting that ball just on the line and then coming into the net. I was unfortunately mistimed that ball. I think I was pretty nervous. And so again here, now 6-all, you have to re recompose yourself. You're up 6-3 and now it's 6-all suddenly and you're, you know, you've had uh, these chances and now you need to refocus. And again, have another set point, just forcing him to play these extra balls. He plays a really weird dipped angle. And again now, 7-all, how can, how can I respond and how can I... You know, come back from this. So I'm thinking to myself, I've had these four chances. You know, it's annoying, it's frustrating. I just want to get this next one though, and then I get another one. And then I'm on serve. That's kind of really what I was thinking, but it's quite easy to slip into oh, I've had four chances, or the mindset of thinking you've had four chances. It's so frustrating. I can't win, I'm gonna lose. That's not what you have to do. Anyway, seven all now, just going in the cross court. 
and I managed to force the error there on his moving forehand and I'm 8-7 up and I finish it with this very, very strong ace. And that's how you play you know, a tiebreak and you keep your calm, which I thought I did really well there in that set tiebreak. Moving on to another set tiebreak I played two or three weeks previously. This was on a clay court against a previous, um, well, he currently goes to a, a US college in America. And obviously on a different surface, you're gonna play the match differently, but the tiebreak rules still apply. You know, if you're ahead, stay consistent, stay every single point on the ball. And if you're behind, you really need to make sure you're focusing on every point because you know every point they get ahead, it, it is crucial and it's extremely hard to come back. My strategy on, the, on this this day was obviously very different. It's uh, you know a slow clay court. It's hot. It's windy slightly. So you know you have to play with a, a lot more margin and security and take a bit more time when constructing the point. I didn't feel he was putting me under a load of pressure from the baseline, so I quite, felt quite comfortable rallying you know from the back, even you know dropping it kind of not too not like worrying too much about the depth of the ball. And just kind of out grinding him, I guess, was my strategy in this tie break. I was kind of thinking to myself, okay, if I can, you know, get one or two points on the board, he's gonna, you know, struggle physically to to win these points because what he has to do is kind of out hit me, and because I'm gonna, you know, run for every ball, and he's gonna have to produce shots like that. So one two now, it's still on serve. So that that's you know what you got to remember is quantify everything in a tie break. Think, am I on serve? Who's up in this one? Do I have how much pressure do I have? What kind of what's he expecting almost so there's quite a few things that actually go on in a tie break and it's quite easy to just think okay you know uh, just kind of turn your brain off and play every point at a time you know whilst that is a good strategy you kind of still have to be thinking about what your opponent's doing and what they feel uncomfortable doing because there's that ed added level of pressure and when there's pressure people you know make silly mistakes or you really see their kind of weaker shots almost and he just finishing the point with a great drop shot there which I wasn't expecting and that's a great example of composure under pressure I do I would have liked to have seen myself come into the net slightly more obviously on a clay court it's quite easy to pass especially it being so slow I didn't want to leave that you know that, that chance open and he had very good ground strokes so I'm 4-2 down here this is obviously again the first set tie break in the match really want to hang on here. This was against the highest seeded player to get to the semi-finals so I really wanted to get uh, you know a set on the board because you know coming back from one set to love down after like a, a one two hour set is extremely difficult in this heat and again being slightly impatient on that forehand down the line and now I'm down two five. What I'm thinking here is kind of every point at a time and they're starting off with a solid serve that gives me a bit of confidence and you know, pointing to my head, you know, showing that it's all mental, and it's only you know four points, and I've won this tiebreak seven five. So in reality, that's just one game to love, and so it's not too far out of reach, even though you feel oh, I'm doubt you like you have to climb a mountain to to win the tiebreak. Going quite secure on the second serve, no need to rush it, and going down the line with the forehand. I felt my strategy earlier of just kind of grinding a bit wasn't really working so here just being slightly more aggressive with my forehand which seemed to have worked and so I think kind of that's my strategy and I'm going to keep kind of doing it go to his backhand and again here just going inside the inside out with good depth twice then switching it up with a kind of inside in a bit off balance so I didn't do as much damage as I wanted to and they're here on the defense just forcing the error and now it's back to five all. And now you have to kind of think to yourself, okay, I'm not behind anymore. I'm, you know, level. Let's not give away a free point here and, you know, go back behind. Okay, so I'm thinking to myself, just make the ball here, stick in the backhand cross and go inside out with good depth. You know, my main focus here is not to miss. I don't want to go for too much. And there's just pulling off the racket, but good defense here to push the ball deep. And he didn't seem like he wanted to come into that either. Maybe slightly nervous. And we're both kind of sitting at the back biding our time to try and get an easier ball and me just just doing enough to keep him at bay and getting the luckiest drop shot of all time possibly and what was running through my head was pure let's go and now it's 6-5 up from being 5-2 down and again just being aggressive with the serve he puts the ball long and I win the tie break and that was kind of the mental strength that I think is so important in tennis so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and do all that good stuff and hopefully we'll be bringing you a lot more commentated match play because you guys clearly seem to love it.